So, we are opening the ruins of this. Hold on, I got something in my eye. <laughs> Sorry. That's all good. I don't want to be sitting there fucking with it. Why? Is it smoke? I don't think so. It feels like... I might have just rubbed it too much now. I just get a little bit. Let's, I'll try and ignore it. <laughs> <I'm just> going... <laughs> So we opened in the ruins of whatever cantina exploded and these mods are like, don't go to the palace and hold up there, hold up in the ruins. Yeah, don't, don't make your stand in a stronghold that's designed for that shit. A fortress? Make your stand in a fucking blown up fucking thing. And the reason that the cyber fag lady gives is that they don't want to abandon the people of Mos Espa, mm. but then they have a massive battle in the city of Mos Espa. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> that I, don't want to I want to fuck them up. That's yeah. <laughs> also, like they should have lured them out of the desert and gotten in Slave One, and the Royal never starfight and fucked them up. Yeah. Right. But we just forgot he had Slave One this whole time. I know. I thought that was. Yeah, we'll get that later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Palace offers greater protection. If you want to abandon Mas Espa and hide in your fortress, go ahead. We're staying. The people who live here need our protection. <laughs> and then Grogu rocks up in the X-Wing. Yeah, R2 floor it. Yeah, it felt yeah, rather quick and rushed, I guess. Mm. It just it all got resolved so quick and I was just like, oh that's it? It's done? You mm. didn't even get to see him decide or anything? Yeah, no, I guess that was the decision where you get to see Luke's reaction to it. Or... And Luke was just like, get the fucking X from yourself, I'm not taking and going by yourself without <laughs> doing a fucking door. I don't care, bro, get out of here, then you're fucking choosing him! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> fucking lucky he even got that cunt. <laughs> Spit on him. Yeah, didn't go with him. Just sent him off in the X Wing with R2. Anything could happen, but yeah. Nah, you got your little chain mail fucking best, you'll be all. Made your decision, mate. <laughs> you fucking chose him, mate. Fuck it, in. Not me, CGI head. <laughs> and the mechanic lady returns again. Yeah, I was so happy when I saw her. <sighs> the Mayor's Major Domo, too. He was here cracking jokes, and I'm just like, <laughs> kind of. Mm, there was a moment where it would have been perfect for him to die and would have had some like redemptive element to his terrible, terrible. I don't know, I guess John Favreau thinks he's funny or something. Mm. Thinks the mechanic lady's funny, but they just grayed on me. Yeah, it annoyed me a little bit. Yeah, he, um. So they're in this stupid fucking den thing. Cad Bane rocks up, he tries to bait Bob. I still have to say, I fucking love where they've done Cad Bane. He looks really cool, and it's all practical. And he acts cool, and mm. like, yeah. I was gonna look up who did his voice for the live action one. I don't know whether it's the same guy as the Clone Wars one, but I kind of different. I kind of started recognizing him. I'm like, is that the voice I know? But then I forgot to look it up. So Ugh, yes. yeah, yeah. I'll ding it up here. It's probably just some random guy anyway. But for a second, I'm like, hmm, do I know? Hmm. But I didn't do the research. You didn't know them. Yeah. Yeah, he tries to bait Boba Fett with the reveal that the Pikes killed the Sand People. Yeah, but it's like, why is that making him want to kill him more? He still didn't kill them. Like, yeah, I don't know. He's a really odd choice for a negotiator. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think he's just trying to trick Boba Fett into like dying then and there. But Fennec's like, nah, nah, use your He brain. just wants to fight him. <laughs> like, legit, he just wants to see who's better. Yeah, they obviously have some history and shenanigans and whatnot. And then, yeah, so all the syndicates of Mos Espa betray Boba Fett. Yep. We got the... We'll stand aside. Yeah. The, those cyber fags, too. Not once did any of them ever use any of the cyber implants or anything. No, except for old mate with the eye thing. But I don't even remember him, like, doing it. Not, not in this battle. He did it in, in, like, last episode or some yeah. shit. Yeah. They could have just been, like, some rough and tumble, like, gang. Yeah, it, it would have been way better. And cool and realistic and not, like... Power Rangers. Yeah. I still don't get why they're trying to incorporate the cyborg thing into it, but could have been cool, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. It's just, it's been done in sci-fi a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought um, the Gamorreans falling to the death was one of the best parts. I, thought, I was so sad. I loved those guys. Yeah. I mean, I felt something. I was like, ah. <laughs> I was sitting like there going, I'm like, oh yes, hopefully the cyborgs die. But no, alas, the Gamorreans mm. fucking die. Mm. Gamorreans die. 
Those lizard people fight Trend the oceans. Trend oceans fight the Wookiee. Yeah, completely just start dog piling on him for some reason. Yeah, I was really underwhelmed by that. I remember when it first started, I'm like, this could be very, very cool. <laughs> we'll see. And then it was kind of like. Oh. Then they just climbed on top of it. Yeah. Like you imagine like a Wookiee taking on like six trans oceans, and it has the potential to be like fucking awesome. It was C minus. Yeah, that part was average at best. Yeah. At first, yeah, at this point in the episode, I'm sitting on, okay, so far it's been quite underwhelming. This episode may not be very good. Yeah. At this point. Bob and Mandy have a cool, like, side to side, back against back battle off. It's very Ned Kelly. I enjoyed the, um, the way they um, were, you know, discussing whether or not he would leave, and he's like, no, I gave you my word, that means I'm here till we both fall. I'm yeah. Like, Fuck yeah. And I just had old mate out to negotiate, and he's like, digga, 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 mm. digga, digga. He's like, ha, 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 ha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what, he, what he said was just so great. His reactions to it and everything, too. Yeah. You can see how fucking terrified he was. After yeah. That's the moment where they should have killed him, though. Yeah. That would have been amazing. I thought they were going to. It seemed like it. Come on, come on, this will all be worth it. All the horrible humour will all be worth it if he just gets his head blown off. But he served as a good distraction. Yeah. And, and it was a really smart idea what they did. Mm. I just don't know why they stopped using the air, like the jetpacks at that point. Like, mm. they, you had, like, had the upper hand when you started getting over one. I can go back into the sky. Yeah. There's lots of things like the jetpacks or Slave One or the Razor Crest when it existed where they just kind of had to either like forget about them with like a line to say yeah we can't use that or just not use them because they're too overpowered and it'd be harder to write a story i guess mm. so yeah they just stopped using their jetpacks and yeah. boba forgot slave one existed uh-huh. uh yeah ned kelly passed out because of massive blood loss because he got shot in the arms and legs by just... cad bang <laughs> yeah i'm just saying like there's a lot like da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Bobber doesn't have his groin plate anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? One of the Kelly Gang got shot in the groin. Lando Bloom. Yeah. Which one was he? Oh, I forget. Dan? No, Dan no. Kelly. It was the other one. Mm, Steve Hart, Dan Kelly, Ned Kelly. The, the only one I can't remember is the <laughs> one he was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, obviously, I give it free pass because it was cool I, I enjoyed that fight yeah too. maybe like one it was a little over the top though one... with this fucking <laughs> he did it twice this? yeah once would have been cool yeah just one shot to the arm or the leg of one of them yeah and then you know you have it like later on doesn't Using, even affect them just use up all their heavy weaponry too like on the mm. infantry yeah it's cool and all but you really should have saved those <laughs> <laughs> And then the um, people of Freetown rock up, and these massive scorpion droids rock up. Which are ridiculous. They are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and bullshit. Yeah. They were pretty awesome, but... <sighs> <laughs> they were completely incapable of shooting anyone at any point, ever. <laughs> there was a shot of all the people of Freetown running away, and they were like three meters away and this thing's right in front of them and, and it could not shoot anybody tank, which if you shoot it it explodes it kills majority mm. of them it waits until they start <laughs> to run away and then decides to blow it up the scenes of Bubba and fucking mandy talking in front of it there's, there's every scene they're in for like they do well we'll get to the rancor but they do at some point shoot the rancor but yeah there's points where it's grappling with the rancor mm -hmm. for like five minutes mm -hmm. the people of freetown running away it's like stormtroopers Inaccuracy on crack. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be this crazy, overpowered, <laughs> ridiculous joy. Maybe that's maybe that's its weakness. It's really shit at aiming. It's got amazing defense, but they just didn't put any type of tracking unit in. <laughs> the pikes need to ask for their money back. <laughs> yeah, right. Fuck. I don't think there was a shot of them shooting one person, and maybe that's like a you know a Disney thing where we can't just see randoms get mowed down. Also, like it. You'd feel more for the people of Mos Espa and understand that cyber lady if we've seen civilians die. But I I don't recall one shot of any civilian dying. No. You need to, like, Helm's Deep works because you see all the people down there, it's the kids and the battle. women. People die in war. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> stakes, tension, suspense, consequences. Mm -hmm. If we know no one's going to die, then it's like... Uh, 
Like, how did this? I really wish they had killed off the cybers, eh? Yeah, I know. Like, and there's Major Domo to take in the spill. The only cybers which died were extra ones. Even Fennec, like, I don't really care for her at all, but that would have been like a moment to have with Boba. Mm hmm. 80 year old Asian lady's dead. Oh no, I feel sorrow. There are, there are stakes here. People can die. <laughs> She's 60, not 80. 90 year old Asian lady's dead. <laughs> There's a moment where she like, <laughs> she, she saved the cyber bags. Oh, is this where she runs? No, she like did a flip. <laughs> I was like, man, she's gonna land on her knee and be like, oh. There was this one point where she was running and I'm like, oh my god, she's running like an old lady. Like, don't get me wrong, a fit old lady? Yeah. But, like, she was running like an old yeah, lady. Yeah, now that you told me, I just see it in every scene. Eh? Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, she doesn't look 60. But all of a sudden, my brain's like, hmm, she's 60. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Just, yeah, the, the scene where she's running is just like, eh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the scorpion droids rock up. They can't shoot anybody. Uh, the mechanic lady rocks up with Grogu because uh, yeah. she didn't hear any she of the had battle. No idea what the fuck was going on? <laughs> she just drove into the heart of the battle. On this stupid fucking thing, like car, car, chariot or car or something. Yeah, especially. yeah. It's like a, a Star Wars rickshaw kind of thing. Mm. And um. Yeah, I guess they're just putting Grogu in there to have like a bit of attention. It was a suspense. nice moment when they were all running and they had that moment where they saw each other. Which it was! Nice. And I obviously care for those characters and feel for them, but yeah, I don't, I'm still wondering why he came back so quickly. Like, this isn't even The Mandalorian Season 3. Yeah, you th I thought, honestly thought they would have left that until Mandalorian Season 3. Yeah, I assumed at some point he would see him again, but not so quick and so definite. It just seems like like so much happened and they went through so much and it was like a 16 episode arc and like two years and then and it's just like... one day. And it's just like, nah. It's all done. It didn't mean anything. There's no consequences. Okay, we don't know what happened with Luke. Maybe Mando's gonna take him back and be like, no, you need to do this. Maybe, yeah. At least with him coming back to it, it, it it's saying pretty much he's not gonna get slaughtered by Kylo Ren. <laughs> not get squashed like a bug. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, I thought maybe that originally they wrote Grogu out and then some Disney executive was maybe like, you need to get him back in. That's why it feels so rushed and forced. forced yeah. Or maybe Jon Favreau just decided that he wanted Grogu back, or maybe Grogu's gonna go back to Luke, but then, I mean, he's coming back, he's leaving, he's coming back, he's like, you'd already done it, then you undid it. Luke maybe could sense what was happening and sent him back, but maybe. it makes no sense to send that child to his death, essentially. Hmm? Yeah. He's got some good force powers, but like, fuck. <laughs> they did like a Grogu do sex machina subversion too, where he tried to bring down the scorpion droid and a bolt hit him and he didn't do it. Yeah. Because there's only so many times he can save everybody, you know? Yeah. I think they're getting pretty close to using up all of them. Yeah, Boba rocks up with the Rancor. That was the fucking awesome I just, part. I still don't know why he... Okay, we'll haul up here, but I'm gonna grab my fucking Rancor, is what I would have said. Mm. Instead of like, oh, I'm just gonna leave my Rancor back at the thing. <laughs> Uh, before I go into this battle, the slave one back of the thing. Yeah, that's fine. All my advantages. Yeah, they needed to be at a disadvantage for a story. But even though they had slave one and a rancor. But he had the rancor. And even that was kind of like, you know, Danny Trio talked about their emotional depth and how they bond with someone and stuff. We've seen one scene with Bob Rodden the fucking rancor. To be fair though, I really enjoyed watching the rancor. It was cool. It was cool to see Bob uh, mounted on a rancor. Beating up Scorpion. Not even so much even with Bob Warner, it was just cool to see a Rancor actually do something. Yeah, and it did a shitload of things. Yeah, it was fucking I was awesome. waiting for it to die though. It yeah, didn't. it never did. It, it was just, eventually it was just like, fuck this, I'm out. Which turned I into love. Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it had banging through flamethrower on its face, and it's like, nah! <laughs> I get that though, fire's bullshit, and just, it doesn't know what the fuck's going on. I was like, nah. It's an animal, and yeah. Cad Bane obviously knew that, that was like one of its ticks. You yeah. can shoot at it, and it's like, we're all good. You yeah, well, shoot fire in don't face. do fuck all to it, but yeah, it got shot a fair bit. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, it goes on its own like Godzilla rampage after the scorpion droids are all destroyed. I think Grogu does actually save the day and put it to sleep. Uh, that was cool. I enjoyed that. It was nice imagery of like, this giant the monster. way you fell asleep, like tiny cuddling thing. into it. Smudging it, rolling over and squashing it. <laughs> I just want to see Grogu squashed. <laughs> That's just something that I need to see happen. <laughs> <laughs> Fennec kills all of the fucking fish. The mayor and all them. Spice people. And that's kind of it, right? 
Oh, I mean, there was the showdown between Cad Bane and Bob. Oh, that was yeah. fucking cool. I don't know. I was kind of underwhelmed with that as well. I don't know. I, you're not as invested in Cad Bane as... Yeah. Um, it was, I really enjoyed it. I, I, honestly, I was not expecting him to die. I honestly thought he would mm. go on, and then when he died, I was just like, whoa. <laughs> there was a little beeping sound, though. I think maybe that was indicating it was alive still. I mean, maybe. They kind of went back to his face and it's still just like... <laughs> <laughs> it was like a... Dee, 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 and then a little thing flashed yeah, on his chest. Yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, but yeah, got his gaffy I suit. think Joris have really long lifespans, so even though he's like old, he's yeah still relatively young in by like, his species years. Well, yeah, because otherwise he'd be fucking Bob is not though really old. Bob is crying. It was nice to see Bob actually using like, his rifle though. Yeah, he did some stuff in this episode. He fought people. He shot his rocket. He, he felt like, like Boba Fett when he was fighting, mm. at least, which is nice because he hasn't felt like Boba Fett this whole fucking show. That was a line too where Cad Bane is like, you're getting soft in your old age, and he's like, we all do. I'm like, nah, you're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Bob, he's like, screen. we all do. Who's your good boy? <laughs> to a panther just randomly <laughs> killing <laughs> me. <laughs> no, Mama, not again. Mama, <laughs> <laughs> this is your family show. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I mean, it was, it, it was kind of cool and tacky at the same time, him using the gaffy stick to take down Cad Bane. I get it, I get what they're doing, you know. They... There was no moment of the Zan people coming in to save the day though, was there? They did. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh. <laughs> they came to that oh, I mean, they still did the same thing with the people of Freetown, I guess. They mm. just set it up way later. Yeah, and Old Mate Sheriff's still alive. Yeah, they hinted like some, they got the, the black dreadlock cyberpunk guy and it's yeah, just like... I, I saw him and I was like, who the fuck is that? Like, I've forgotten who he yeah. was for a second. I'm like, oh, it's that guy. <laughs> I did like when Cad Bane told Boba Fett that it was the fish people that slaughtered the sand people and it flashed back to it and it showed like four or five frames of it. I'm like, yeah, I remember that. It was three episodes ago. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> but you would get it. You don't need We're to show. We're fucking retarded. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think they are going for like... They're, going, they're trying to get all of the audience, you know, it's, it's movies. Idiotic. It's idiotic to try and make this for kids. It is clearly not a kid show. I, I mean... <sighs> it should be, like, at the very least, as dark and interesting and complex as the Star Wars movies. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need to be... death in those. Yeah, and, like, like, you know, it wasn't, like... It wasn't a lot going on. It was a battle. You know, it wasn't, like... It wasn't complex or intellectual or thought provoking. And then, that makes sense. Star Wars battles never really have been that. That's fair. But there's like. I called aggressive negotiations. <laughs> <laughs> there's more stuff going on. This felt more kiddy than any of the live action films. Yeah. Which is disappointing. And I hope they fucking. Don't do that with Obi Wan. It's, it's, it's just really interesting that they did that like that for the book, the book of Boba Fett. But for the Mandalorian, it was. Like, it, it was still kid-friendly, but it didn't feel too kid-friendly. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, yeah, the tone of that didn't offend me. I think because the setting of this is like a crime syndicate. And that's what we were expecting. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, literally but, and the character is Boba Fett. How they set it up at the end of The Mandalorian Season 2 is him sitting on Jabba's throne. He just killed Bib Fortuna. Yeah. And all of a sudden he's not interested in killing people anymore? Just Bib. Just been like, mm, yeah. and it was like, I'm going to be the leader of a crime syndicate. By the end of it, he's just being old mate, I'm protector of Tatooine. These are my people. And you had like an apple and he threw it to the Wookiee and the cyber fag. Oh, why does he get a fucking cut? And I'm like, oh, can you just end now? Oh yeah, that's right too. In the first episode, I praised that Ludwig composer guy for his amazing score. And every episode, every review that we've done, I'm meant to bring up. But yeah, he stopped being the composer. Oh. And it was some other guy. And I could tell. And I don't, it just felt like cheaper and smaller than The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian, like every episode, almost is a different planet, and the sets look this big. This was just Tatooine, 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 Tatooine. I don't know why they chose that for Boba Fett. Like he was. He was on Tatooine under Jabba the Hutt, but that was the only reason he was on Tatooine. Was he didn't Jabba. feel a draw to Tatooine or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, they Jabba need to move away from Tatooine. 
it's just it's, it's so prevalent mm. it's everywhere even in the mandalorian i feel like they were you know using it too much yeah he went down to Tatooine, yeah, like, like i get it go to fucking hoff yeah <laughs> anywhere else check out dagobah again you know that's fine go to tython yeah like that's like that's where i would have expected luke to take um grogu that's like our ancient jedi temple yeah and it's also the home of all the kyber crystal caves and stuff mm. So yeah, uh, I think overall, like, you know, I'm able to enjoy it. There were moments I enjoyed, but overall, yeah, it's just, it's not amazing. It's not amazing. For me personally, there were a few moments I didn't enjoy, but I, as a whole, I did enjoy this episode. Yeah. I enjoyed actually watching Boba Fett fight. I enjoyed watching the Rancor battle. I enjoyed watching Grogu put the Rancor to sleep. Mm. Like, there was just a few moments I was like, yeah, I enjoyed Cad Bane a lot. Yeah, that's right. um, but yeah, it was just the cybers. I wish they died. I wish the Gamora didn't die. That mm. was just the very cheap death that I just feel like they didn't have the shot of them <laughs> splat. Yeah, they died. Why couldn't the civilians die? Yeah, they died. There's no way they survived that fall. <laughs> and Boba didn't give a shit. <laughs> he didn't even know. Maybe he just forgot about it. He never even remembers their bodies just decay. <laughs> it's like on someone's roof. Why were they even on the cliffside anyway? They weren't watching. They were supposed to be. All these people were watching stuff, and they just throw them up on their cliffs. There was a train, and the train moved, and there were people behind it. And oh was... yeah, were well, they protecting the train lines? I don't know. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Let's also stand as close as we can to this cliffside so that we can be flanked off it. Nah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I would personally give it a C minus. Like it was fine, but I need more at this point, and I just I need Obi Wan to be more catered to an adult audience. You would think with Disney buying all these adult shit, like they own Predator and stuff now, you get all that sort of stuff on Disney Plus. So surely they can make content. They just aspect. brought out a Disney Plus original series about Tommy Lee and Pamela Anderson and the whole sex tape controversy. First of all, who the fuck? cares about that they made a sex tape and stuff and second of all like that's fucking adult that is way content. worse than cunts getting shot yeah they're, they're just like you nah, don't have to show it Star Wars ridiculously is, graphic violence i don't need to see people's heads explode and shit just have a like just have someone get hit by a blast and fall down episode Do five the sparks episode six yeah. episode three that was pretty that dark. E scene where that ewok got fucked up wake up oh yeah there was none of that in this none of it Scorpion droids are just like, what? Mm -hmm. I still like the Scorpion droids, although if I can say about their shields, I honestly thought they were going to be like the shields on in episode one, where you could, while, they, while you can shoot into them, you could just step into them, yeah, and I yeah. assumed that's what it was going to be, but it was like crazy good, like mm. they have to have a weakness. They I'm can't sorry. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's just plot armor. <laughs> yeah, 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 for everybody. <laughs> but like everything has to have a weakness, and they did not seem to have one, unless you have a fucking rancor. Yeah. And even this fucking dark saber through its fucking head didn't do anything. Yeah. Like fuck. <laughs> Although it is nice to see someone just because he has a dark saber, he's not all of a sudden OP. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And yeah, he's not using it that often. He's mm -hmm. using it where it's applicable. It's one of his many tools. He thought, ah, it's worth giving a shot uh, against his shield. It, okay, that didn't work. <sighs> yeah. All right, let me check my notes. But I'm pretty sure. I'm fucking pretty well. Done. Okay. Fuck. That was it. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs>